Hi all, welcome to Darren Rooks Running with your host, Darren. Hi all, this is Darren from Darren Rooks Running and welcome to my latest video. Uh, today I will be talking about um, my review um, from week 5 of my 100k ultra um, training plan. Um, so a review of the last 7 days training. Um, so this is the uh, first week back after last week's um, recovery. Uh, so was very pleased to get back out and um, hit in the miles um, as previously discussed um, I did struggle a bit with the cutting back the mileage so um, I have been out this week and completely hit um, the miles um, to make up for last week um, so if we start off with Monday um, so Monday according to my plan on the relentless um, training plan uh, for week five um, I should have had a, another recovery day um, after Sunday's um, last effort. Um, but obviously staying away from work and not running the heavy mileage that I had been running. Um, I went out after work. Um, I felt quite pumped up, uh, really amped. Um, so I went out after work um, and run eight miles. Um, I did tell myself that they were going to be easy miles, which is why I was going to do it and maybe only do four to six miles, but I ended up doing eight. Um, and I'd done them at um, not an easy pace um, that I was hoping for, um, but they were more at um, a marathon pace, so probably a lot quicker um, than I should have, but um, bearing in mind, I've done quite a lot of slow running over the coming months. Um, I felt quite good um, going at um, the marathon pace. Um, so yeah, had a good eight miles on uh, Monday after work, felt good. Um, and my pace uh, was really good. Uh, on Tuesday, again after work, um, I went out. Uh, I was scheduled to do um, seven miles. Um, so I done a very quick 10k, um, again quicker than uh, my marathon pace, um, and I actually got a new PB for 10k. Um, so uh, my new PB for a 10k is 53 uh, minutes flat. Um, so yeah, pleased with that. Uh, was running good. Uh, felt quite on top of it. Um, felt like I could have gone quicker um, than I was and always felt pretty much in control. Uh, so 6.2 miles, new PB, um, couldn't be happier. Um, and I also, after doing the 6.2 miles, because I'd gone above my marathon pace, um, I did do um, another mile just to help with the recovery uh, to try and bring my heart rate down. Um, so on Tuesday, um, I did over uh, seven miles um, compared to what the plan said, which was seven. Uh, on Wednesday, um, I was supposed to do um, hill repeats. Um, I did try to get up on the Wednesday morning um, at half past four to try and do the hill repeats before work. Um, but I felt really, really groggy. Um, and I think that's probably from pushing myself on the Monday um, and the Tuesday, both at quite fast pace. Um, and I hadn't really had a full night's sleep on the Tuesday. Um, so obviously, <coughs> because I felt groggy and being half past four, um, I did go back to sleep for a couple of hours just to try and get rid of the grogginess um, because I really didn't have the headspace um, and I didn't see the point in trying to do something like hill reps um, when I felt groggy and a bit disorientated so sacrifice the session on the Wednesday just to try it and uh, clear my head and obviously go back to go to work that day um, and obviously because working in West Sussex and living in Kent 
Um, by the time I got back on Wednesday, um, it was too late and obviously tired to then go out and do hill reps um, in the evening. So um, no running on the Wednesday, but obviously used that as a rest and um, recovery day. Uh, on the Thursday, um, I was scheduled for um, seven miles. Um, and obviously bearing in mind that I knew I didn't do the hill session on the um, Wednesday, the day before, due to grogginess. Um, I went out on Wednesday. Um, I did a five five mile session where I done uh, incline repeats, so running up a hill and then using a mile to recover. Um, I think the incline of the hill that I have run up, it was a 60 foot incline. So obviously push myself to run up the hill and then obviously try to recover um, in between with a mile um, and then up again. Uh, <coughs> pleased with how that went. The incline was steeper than I thought because um, it wasn't a gradual incline. It was quite a short, steep incline. Um, and I don't think I really took that into account. Um, I felt myself pushing for it i was out of breath towards the third or fourth incline um but managed to squeeze out a fifth uh and what impressed me even more is my legs were completely shattered uh and i was breathing quite heavy um after those five miles but i then went out and done another four miles um after the incline session just to help with the recovery, um, to keep the legs moving, try and flush out some of the lactic acid. Um, it wasn't overly a quick run, um, but it wasn't slow. It was kind of like that in-between run. Um, not really, really slow. So about 10 minute mile pace um, over the four miles, to, just to try and um, bring my heart rate down a little bit and try and use that as a base run um, to which I think uh, Garmin said that it was base, basically um, a base run and improved my um, aerobic fitness. Uh, so pleased with obviously the nine miles in total on Thursday which obviously had some hill reps. Um, on the Friday, uh, there was no running at all, um, used it as a rest day and obviously working, so, um, but I did manage to um, stay on my feet quite a lot on the Friday at work, um, just to try and keep my legs moving from the previous running sessions on the Thursday and obviously spending more time um, on feet. Um, so got quite a lot of steps in. Um, when I got home on the Friday, um, after having something to eat, um, I did start my preparations for um, my long running uh, for the Saturday. Um, I had the Mountain Fuel um, nighttime sachet hot chocolate uh, before I went to bed to help aid recovery from Thursday's run and also prepare me for um, Saturday's long run. Uh, so Saturday my intention was to do um, 18 miles was my target. My plan says to do 16 or 18 but I was looking at 18. Um, I did go with the intention of doing three miles easy, three miles at marathon pace or quicker um, and repeat. Uh, over the 18 miles um, so first three miles obviously warm up and um, easy um, miles four five and six um, I done quick um, I done quicker than marathon pace my marathon pace is estimated um, at nine minute miles um, and I was looking in at um, 830 pace so above my marathon pace um, and I felt quite comfortable, um, not like I was hanging on for the first of those three miles um, at that pace. So I was quite happy um, running it. Um, after miles four, five and six, uh, was again back down to um, easy running. Um, 
So again, slowed it down, but obviously it was um, a lot faster than probably what I should have been doing um, in terms of recovering. Um, I didn't actually get my heart rate back into um, the blue zone. Um, I think I managed to get it down to 145, 147. Um, after having to stop for the toilet, which doesn't count because obviously my heart rate would have returned. Um, but again, <coughs> happy with that. Uh, the next set of fast miles, um, what's, the, what's that? 9, 10, 11. Um, again, push myself above my normal or my estimated um, marathon pace. Again, I was clocking under 9 minute, 8.30 uh, minute miles. Um, and towards the end of mile 11, uh, I was feeling a bit tired at that point um, and obviously welcomed uh, the recovery miles at 12, 13 and 14. Um, and then obviously at mile 15 would have been the last three miles again at marathon pace or mile 18 as fast as I can. Um, I started off at mile 15 um, and at 15 and a half miles I literally felt my legs go on my legs go to jelly um, once upon a time when this would have happened I would have stopped running stopped my watch and ended the run there and then and then just walk back um, obviously I realized I can't do that in my ultra that I have to adapt find a way to carry on and that is what I did on the Saturday. Um, so when I knew my legs had gone, um, I didn't try to push and carry on at that pace and risk uh, injuring myself. I thought, okay, my legs are gone, what do I do now? Let's adapt, let's slow down, let's just try and keep moving, not walking, but just continue going at a slower pace to get to mile 18 and then obviously refresh my legs and see what happens um, so obviously for the last two and a half miles I slowed it down I was still running probably 930 just under 10 minute miles in those two and a half miles um, and I did feel my legs come back to me um, before I got to mile 18 and I could have probably gone again at pace but I thought well no I'll finish at a steady pace and use it as um, recovery. So <coughs> I was pleased with the run on Saturday. Um, I achieved the 18 mile target that I wanted. Um, I went quicker than um, I wanted to and maybe I shouldn't have gone as quick but I felt comfortable running um, the 8.30 minute miles um, for the miles that I did run. Um, and I was also able to adapt for when things um, didn't go according to plan. Um, I didn't quit um, and just obviously carried on to finish uh, the race, um, which is what I will need to do in August when I'm running the 67 miles. So um, pleased with my efforts. Um, and again, along the... Um, 18 miles on Saturday, um, I was fueling properly uh, with the mountain fuel um, products, the flapjacks um, and the jellies and the chia um, gels um, and also the extreme energy drink. Um, so I was take on, taking on enough carbohydrates, enough fluids um, for the run. Um, so yeah, pleased with my nutrition and obviously after the run, I had um, a recovery shake from Mountain Fuel as well. Um, obviously, for those of you that are looking for nutrition products, please click on um, the Mountain Fuel link um, on um, the website um, in my bio. Um, we'll take you to their um, website. They do do um, taster bundles, so I would fully encourage you to um, try some um, and once you do try them you'll find that your performance will just literally skyrocket because since i've been on the mountain fuel it literally feels like i'm on steroids or something um i, I just literally feel like i'm flying at the moment 
um, and that's in the last two weeks since I've started taking these guys products um, so do look them up do try them and obviously when you're um, buying products obviously feel free to um, give my name um, to say that I've recommended you um, and getting back to this week's running um, today I went out um, for uh, an hour and a half um, today I done something that I've never done in my two and a half years running and that is trail running um, so obviously the guys at um, Bay Running Triathlon Shop um, suggested that I spent today um, taking it easy on the trails. Uh, so I knew this was going to be hard. Um, so I didn't go in there expecting to set uh, any pace or anything like that. Uh, I didn't quite know what to expect. Um, but I was actually pleasantly surprised, although it was hard, uh, the inclines, um, changing the footing with the hills, the stones, twigs and uneven ground. Um, I managed to do seven and a half miles. Um, I was out for over an hour and a half, I think, this morning. Um, but I actually didn't feel very tired after. Um, my body didn't feel beat up. Um, and it actually cut my recovery time down by a good 20 hours um, from Saturday's run. Um, so yeah, I'm more than happy. I went out slow, um, as suggested. Um, and what makes it even more shocking is that the trails are literally across from my front door and I've never used them before. Um, so that will be now a regular occurrence for me on a Sunday, especially after doing a long run on the Saturday, is to just go out on the trails, spend time outside, not look at my watch and just keep running for hour, two hour, three hours, depending on what my training plan says. Um, so again, really happy with um, my running today. Um, so this week um, I have ended uh, the week running um, on 50 miles um, and my training plan says 45 so um, I'm not that far ahead of my training plan now. Um, week 5 is now finished, um, I've learned to adapt, I'm confident picking up speed, I am developing speed. Um, again. I'll go back to doing some more base building work um, next week, but also doing speed sessions. Um, I have got a speed session on um, Wednesday, um, and obviously I'm conscious that of how the last um, <coughs> speed session ended two weeks ago in doing the pyramids. Um, so I'm not gonna try and keep it local to where I'm staying at the hospital at work. Um, I'm, I know where I'm going to go to do that, which will be where I have been going on Monday and Tuesday after work, just doing loops around the park, um, because I know that at the moment there aren't many people there, um, so I can get away with doing um, the speed session um, there um, after I've done my warm up. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys, um, please look at... Uh, the mountain fuel um, link in my bio and also look at the bay triathlon store as well uh, thank you for watching uh, please like and subscribe um, and leave a comment if necessary um, hope to see you all again soon um, and please feel free to add any comments or any questions um, until next time um, stay safe and goodbye